Hi there. Today I'll be explaining you on how to create a tenant. So first of all, let me tell you what is a tenant in WS2 perspective. A tenant is an independent unit which shares the same resources and which manage users and its administration within the tenant itself. For example, we can use this tenant model to manage different departments of an organization which share the same resources, but the user feels that they are logging to their application in spite of this sharing resources. One thing to be noted is multi-tenancy can ensure the optimum performance of system resources such as memory and hardware. In WSO2 Identity Server, there can be only one primary user store for all the tenants, but every tenant can plug different secondary user stores through the management console itself. You can create a tenant through WSO2 Identity Server Management Console. So let's look at how to create a tenant. Now, for that, you have to go log into the management console through the admin username and password. And then you can see the configure tab and click on the add new tenant in the multi-tenancy option. Then you have to enter the domain, which we call the, uh, the tenant domain. For example, I will add wsu2.com and then you have to give the first name of the admin, the tenant admin user, which I will add Dinali and the last name. And then you have to give uh, the admin username of the tenant, which I give as admin and the password. And you have to retype the password. And remember to give the email of the admin user of this tenant and click save. Then you can see that you have registered a new organization successfully and you see your tenant is available right now. So what you can do is like you can sign out and log in with the tenant that you have created with its password. You will be able to successfully log in. So this is the new tenant management console. So hope you understood how to create a tenant. So if you want more information, please visit our documentations. Thank you.